What do you mean the happy hooker? What are you We're doing? Getting some bait. What kind of bait? Uh, perch fishing. You're getting shiners? shiners? So we can sit out there and perch fish. So, well, hurry up. Let's get this going. No. All right, you're going to try your hand at fishing today? I don't know if I can grab one with these. Oh, we'll use the fishing pole. Yeah, we have to use fishing poles. Where are those? They're in the boat. They're in the boat. So what are we fishing for today? Perch. Some perch. It's my favorite kind of fishing. Be longer than nine inches. I'll have to look that up, but we're a limit 30 apiece. Yeah. I looked that up, so I'll check the inch. I don't know that there is a um, a length on perch, but you want to keep the bigger ones. Well, I ain't going to keep them three, four inches. Okay. Get her hooked up, Hudson. Right, we're hooked up. There's the boat, the truck. He said, get in, let's go. You ready? All right, well, there's still a, quite a few boats in these docks. There are some open ones that people are either out fishing or they have pulled them for the season. Um, for us, this is the very last day of September. Tomorrow will be October 1st. And when we leave on Sunday, the boat is going to storage. It will be shrink wrapped, nice cover put on it for the winter, and then we leave it there for the winter because that they you pay for the shrink wrap and it includes the storage. So that's a pretty good deal. So here we are. We're getting to the boat ramp. Let's get her in. Can we catch some perch? We sure hope so. What do you think? It's too short. You're too short. Yeah, look, you're. <laughs> All right, so you got her warming up. You got her warming up. You got a fishing prayer. Fishy, 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 fishy <laughs> in the brook. Get on my hook. Go fishing for the first time, second time. We got spunk the first time. Well, and then at that, we got to clean the boat. You got to winterize it. We have a place to take it to store it, and we got to get that done this weekend. Oh, you made it. A little rocky start but we're heading out the channel we're gonna stop up here at the point and yeah it's gonna be a little bit expensive we're gonna put a little bit of gas in the boat just for safety sake even though when we go out here we anchor and turn the boat off just rather be safe than sorry but it is a beautiful day I guess it is considered fall, isn't it? It's fall. Autumn, fall, whatever you want to call it. So here we go, guys. It's only our second time out this year. And we're hoping to catch some perch. If not anything, we went out on the lake. I won't be able to record up here, but here's where we're going to stop. And if you can see that, $4.89 a gallon. We're only going to put in $30 or $40 just to kind of top it off and make sure that we're safe, we're safe than sorry. So, gotta help. At 4.89 a gallon, we got about a little over eight gallons, but you know, dad always said, don't trust the gas gauge, better be safe than sorry. This used to be a gas station over here. I don't know who owns that property anymore, but um, yeah, this is the, just coming out of our channel at Turtle Creek. I'm in my seat, you can go. opinion is your line going straight down yes it is that means we're anchored doesn't it yeah. Woohoo! Yeah. guys can you hear that bubbling noise we got a bucket of minnows here and we got an air bubbler to aerate them to keep them living so Jim's got two fishing poles I'm only gonna do one yeah, if we start hitting I'll go to one but, but um can you see all that out there? Let me zoom here. Okay, I'm not sure if you're seeing it. Hopefully you are. If you see all, all, the, white spots are all the white spots, that's what I was getting at. Those are boats and they're all the way around us. And then our point to tell us to where we go back in is we go, I would say to the right of that, that is Davis Bessie Nuclear Plant. 
Now, if that steam was rolling down over the rim of that, we know not to come out. The wind is a northeast wind today, but the waves, look, they're not really that bad. So it's a really pretty day to be out on the water. Rock you to sleep. Yeah, I'm going to take me a nap. Ha ha ha, you didn't get it. I know I wasn't quick enough, but I had the first bite, didn't I? I thought I had a bite, but I didn't. I don't know if it was a bite or hitting the bottom. We're just fishing right up off the bottom. How many rails do you reel off the bottom? One or two. As soon as it picks up. Because I did like oh, you got, got the first, first one. one. Is it long enough? Yeah. There is no um there is no length limit on these. It's 30 a person. But this is big enough, I'll keep it. Oh, absolutely, and it's kind of bleeding too. So back there is a live well. He'll put it back there. He'll get a bucket. He'll fill it with water. And we'll start the counter. I've got to get the counter out. It is so pretty out here. He's got a bucket. So what are you doing with that water? Putting it in the live well. So right there. Got one lonely fish. He gets to swim back there in his own pool. It's even got waves. His own wave pool. <laughs> I thought I should check my pool after Jim caught his fish. And I don't know if you can see, but they took both of my minnows. Them little son of a guns. He's fishing with two and he's lost his also. They're sneaky little son of a guns. He's kicking my behind. We've got two whole perch. My line just got skunked, both hooks. They took the minnow. So how big is he? It's right behind you. can't hold the camera and get him tools at the same time. He's waiting for any leftovers. They like to take... Yeah, you'll probably have to keep him because of that. Anyways, guys, we've got two fish. It's really pretty out here. I was just getting ready to ask Jim how much longer until we move to another location, but we might have to stay because now we've got that second one. I quit! Uh -huh, no I three. quit! Did you get the mini? Probably. His minnows flew off when he reeled that one in. Guys, we're at number three. I guess I should get the counter, but it's like, eh, until we get 10. I want to see 60, Jim. Come on, keep them coming, keep them coming. Well, I can only catch 30. Then get your 30. Again. Look at that. Now it's number four. Look how big that is. I'm coming over on your side. <laughs> Be too many fishing poles in the way. I'm losing, guys. Jim, share. Don't you learn to share? Well, I'll share at the dinner table. You share at the dinner table, well, then just keep catching them. But, no, no, show it to them how nice it is. Nice one. I catch one about that long. All right, how many you got in that back, back thing now? Five perch. 25 more to go, honey. Get them. I'll be dipped. Number six. And I'm up here messing with my hook because my hook was messed up. Um, I don't know if you can see this. It's got a little tip on the hook. What'd you call it? The barb? barb. Mine was missing. No wonder I was losing them. Hey, look, you still got a minnow sticking out of his mouth. He ain't getting it, <laughs> Well, the, you mean the bird? No. The fish? All right. I got to get my pole back in there now that I put a new line and hook on it, and I got to catch up with him. Number six. You got now. That's a baby walleye. Tell him to go back and grow up. Hey, 
Um, it's behind you. And tell them about you've caught a walleye on a Zebco. When we were out perch fishing several years ago, when my dad was with us, didn't get skunked. That's my pool. I got a fish. So did I. So does he. <laughs> Are they keepers though? Yeah, this one's got some not so good. He's kind of bleeding. Right, I can't film and catch, but looky, I'm on number two. I'm going to catch up with him. Now, each of our last ones we threw back, they weren't big enough to keep, but this one is big enough. And look, he's hanging on just by a little bit. I was lucky to get him. Look at that, baby. Big it. Number eight. eight. We have eight keepers now. And I actually have one keeper that I put in there and had to, we both threw that those, those ones back. Fill her up, honey. We're going to have a perch dinner. Now he sits back and relaxes and waits for both of his pools to get hit. And the birds are looking for leftovers. I keep losing the smokestack over there. It's way over there. You getting something? Yeah. You still got your bait? Yeah. Hey, that's a nice one. Hey, he's a nice one, but look what he done. He took both hooks. He was greedy. Greedy little son of a gun, you. Look at that. Both hooks. Show him. Both hooks are in his mouth. All right. Good going, Jim. Keep them coming. Getting a hit on the other line, which didn't get him anything. He's got a minnow laying right there, and he's got a snack bar. As soon as I gave him something to eat is when he caught that last fish. So keep them coming, Jim. Keep them coming. I will. said a big one. He's coming like a big one. He's not so big, honey. <laughs> He was the roughest fight I've had in 10 minutes. Well, at least you got something, huh? It, it, it's, it's hit and miss, guys. Hit and miss. We oh. didn't get into the school we thought we'd get into. But we could always move. Yeah. Actually, can you see all those boats? They're quite a ways from us. But maybe we should head halfway in between here and there to see what's going on that away over there sorry i can't hold the camera still the boats are rocking he got another one look at that you want to trade yeah i want to trade you come over here and you i'll come over there or all three we'll put three poles over on that side maybe that's what i'll do i'll sit here and i'm kind of twisted so let me show you there's my pole in the water and look at the bird he just thinks he's going to get my bait he ain't getting it I think I'm going to go sit right there, get me a cushion from up front, and I'm going to fish on that side. I'm trying to stand up. There, I got able to move around. <laughs> the waves get you. Got to get your sea legs on. Looks like he swallowed he it, but it. he's going to be keeper number nine. Call him number nine. Look, she thinks she's going to catch him on my side. Hey, they say if you can't beat them, join them. So that's exactly what I'm doing. It's the work that it takes to perch fish. He's got to get the anchor in. And we'll move to another spot. So how much line do you think you put out? A rope or what do you want to call it? How much? 75. 75 foot is what he said that he had out. Do you see the anchor yet? We don't have one of those fangle dangle things you push a button. But it, basically, we only use this anchor when we perch fish. There it is. Does that covered in muck? 
Does it have snails on it? Look at that. All right, that's in. Now we can move. So oh, here we go. Thought we were gonna have a problem. You know, a boat is bust out another thousand. And when we took this boat over after my father passed, we have put a lot of money in it, but it's always something. But here we go. Study in the fish finder. Is there anything underneath us? I'm trying to show you this. That yellow is at the bottom of the lake. Yeah, here's the bottom. Yeah, I can't see here. Okay. There looks like there's stuff underneath us. So. He knows what he's looking at. I don't. Other than looking out there. Our point of what we see is Davis Bessie nuclear plant, and it actually looks like the steam is going more up now than yeah, it the was. Wind flows down. Yeah. Oh, down. So, and the waves are calmed down. It's a beautiful day. Absolutely. If we don't catch our limit, we had a beautiful day on the lake. Is, the, is the blower still on? Yeah. All right. Thank you. I thought I heard something besides that bubbler. Let's try her again. I'll try my side over here and I'll let you have your side back. Did he abandon his poles? What you doing up there, Captain? I'm trying to find out the right combo that I can see. Well, and at that, we bought that, what, a couple years ago? And we really haven't used it that much. <laughs> We've only been in the boat four times in the last two years. I know. Because, we, well, two and a half years ago, I didn't get it in the water at all. <clears throat> no, after your work accident. <clears throat> so, make these fishies bite, Mr. America. Bite! <laughs> bite, 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 bite. It's not huge, but guess what? Since we moved, I got the first one. Now it's your turn. Ten more, please. And how many fish did you say we have in the... Ten. We have ten. Um, I don't know about this one. It's kind of small, but at this point, maybe we just ought to keep them, huh? So we can have a meal. You follow us over here? Yep. What are you doing? You missed it. We threw the fish back. He swam away. You didn't get him. What about the bird? You're going to fight. Yeah. A couple times he's taken his fishing pole and poked him in the head. <laughs> in the water. It's like, move, move. Get away. Get away. Hey, you got one. You got one. But is it big enough? No, probably not. But that's okay. You got one. Send them on. Over onto my side. Time to swim under the boat. Decided to go off the back of the boat there. And I think that's the same one I just I want to know if that's the same one you, nah, he's small. This you just smaller. threw back. So don't throw it in yet. I want to get on the back of the boat. I'm going to throw them in over here. Okay, I want them to see this bird. Now watch it. Watch. Watch it. Watch. Ready? <laughs> you missed it. Thank God she swam away. The bird, not the, the, the fish, bird. not the bird. <laughs> get her, get her, get her. Oh, nice oh nice yes. He looks the like keeper. a keeper. I think that might be number 20. 
I gotta get my fishing pole back in the water pronto. Especially Bubbles! Why no one's a keeper. If that one swallowed it, it'll be Right, if if they do, and it does look like it's maybe swallowed. And if they're not gonna make it, we do keep them and let them get cleaned. Now, let's see if I can catch something on my pool. I've come back by the swim ladder, which we don't use the swim ladder because we don't swim in this lake. All right, we had a dry spill. So again, I moved to the back of the boat and there is that big pretty perch right down there that I just got on my hooky. All right, there's my pool. Jim is there. And Jim is there. So we have both moved kind of to the back of the boat, away from the engine down there, the lower unit. Is that what you call it? Lower unit? Mm -hmm. That thing right down in there. So, okay, fishies, fishies, come and bite our hooks. And really, guys, this is calm for Lake Erie. This is so pretty out here today started a little rough and then that wind calmed down can't get any better than this got another one off the back of the boat and he is a keeper i think that's number 24. what well, they are off the back of the boat and i don't know if that's a keeper or not jim's gonna have to look and figure that out once he gets that off him off the hook and i still have to get mine off the hook mine's going in there what do you have he was on there, and I didn't even know. I started pulling it up, and it oh it my didn't find gosh! My way up. I think he is number twenty-six, and we're about ready to head in. So let's try to get four more. About time to go. And did we get our last one? No, we're gonna get one more. He is a nice-looking perch. There's still a lot of boats out here, guys. Um, Got the fishing pole on my lap. <laughs> but see the white dot? Those are boats if you can see them. I'm taking my bait off of my fishing pole. Watch this. He got it. Din din. Yeah. Oh, you like that, huh? I thought we were leaving. I did. I was pulling it in, and he said, Alabama, got him. He's going home with you. He wanted to go. He wanted to leave the lake. I don't know. I've lost count. It's either 27 or 28. But you know what? When we take him out of the live well, once we get in, we will give a final countdown. What are you doing? Well, we're done. We can't take these home with us. No, because they won't grow up. So feed them. That one out there is just not paying attention. Hey! There's one up over there, too. Hey, guys, are you hungry? Din Din! They don't listen, just like children. He says, I'm done. My tummy's full. Mm -hmm. Watch him. Ready? Are you going to do the whole bucket? I'm doing the whole bucket. Okay, ready? There's a bunch of them in there. Let me see. Let me see. Look at him down in there. Ready? Let's go. Okay, he was draining the water. Okay. We got two scoops, and look at that. We have we been out here it. for four or five hours. And we've been losing them left and right. It's all right. Got our money's worth, didn't we? Oh, there one came in. They act like they're blind. You just swim right over them. Snooze, you lose. Bye-bye. Hey. What? Home, James. <laughs> Let's go. Rock boat, don't rock boat, baby. Don't sing. They might do.
demonetize us. Yeah, he's checking. <laughs> right, we're back at the entrance to our channel, the Turtle Creek Marina in Campground. We, <laughs> we will do a final count of our perch. Do you think that we forgot to count some? We could be off one or two, don't you think? Yeah. Now, at this I'll point... I'll one or two that we got more, more. But the count at this point, we're allowed 30 a person. And we got one person taken. Right. We might have 30. I think we have 27. But again, who knows? But here we are, heading back. We'll get the boat on the trailer. We're going to take it over and park it close to our camper. We'll try to do a little cleaning on it. Jim's going to winterize it. It's going to go to storage tomorrow. So thanks for being with us. And wait till you see again what we got. So more to come. It's not over yet. Couldn't video when he was counting because my phone is going to die. I need to get in the truck and charge it. But we got 30 perch. So you was off. I was off. We got a ticket, which... Each person is allowed 30, so we call it a ticket. Good going. This is a little shack that is over here by Wild Wings, which Wild Wings is a restaurant right there. On the other side of that is the Marathon Station. It's all one thing. And Jim's taken our perch up here and we'll pay to have them clean because they can be a real pain in the butt to clean, so. Are. You'll have to drain them before they weigh them, probably. Well, we left the fish here. What did they weigh? Nine pounds. So it cost us, well, it was $19 to have them clean. We just gave them a 20 and said keep it. It was $18.95. So we'll come pick them up tomorrow before we head home. All righty. We was fishing today. Did you guys like it? Let us know in the comments down below. And don't forget to subscribe, hit the thumbs up, hit the notification bell, and what else? Did you have fun? And it's free to subscribe. So make sure you subscribe and share us with others. And tell us if you want to see that thing back in the water again. It'll be next year, It'll be but next let's year, go but fishing. Now that we got it running right, we didn't get towed in. That's the big thing. We didn't get towed in. <laughs> Bye! Bye.